Hello, Smeghead, bringing you another Black 2, White 2 battle. It's a short but sweet NU battle against a chap by the name of Necrostevo, who's a pretty cool guy. He's got some really cool content on his channel, so please check him out after the battle. So, he's going to start off with the Absol. I'm starting off with my bin bags, my Garboda, and I completely forget that these things got the Psycho Cut. And when I saw it, I was like, bollocks! So, I was kind of hoping I'd live it anyway, because I've got quite a bit of... But, you know, Garboda's quite bulky, but he's going to get the crit. I don't think that matters anyway because I don't have full defense investment. I've got a special defense investment in there because this is cursed set. So, ah, oh, great start. So I'm going to have to switch into Marowak here, hoping he's going to be choice so he can switch out. And uh, he does switch out into the Alamomola while I get my stealth rocks up. And I fucking hate Alamomola ever since Robotnik is sexy, like, prevent my sweep with one. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to have to go into Tentacool here as he's actually going to go for the soap, which, although I am a water type, he's actually going to make me a pure water type, so toxic will be able to affect me, and even if I did switch out and retained my poison typing, I would still be toxic. Same with steals, and fortunately enough for me, he's going to miss that toxic. Now, I really do not want Tentacool, tentacool to be toxic, and I don't really want anything else to be toxic, so I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to make Cacturn toxic, because it's my Scarfer, and I'll be able to get the health back with Giga Drain anyway, so it should be all good. Now, talking of Giga Drain, I know he's going to predict me to go for it, and I don't particularly want to go for the Dark Pulse either, so I just think... Fuck it, let's just go for the Focus Blast on the off chance that something that resists my stab comes in. It does come in, the M Bore. Now, I went for Focus Blast because I was hoping for the Absol at the time, but thinking about it, I was like, hmm, maybe the M Bore. No, I'm lying completely. I did not know the M Bore was going to come out. I was hoping for the Absol, but in comes the M Bore, and it's going to do quite a reasonable chunk, and I don't want to stay in here because I'm thinking he either is Scar or I'll miss the Focus Blast, so I'm going to go into Tentacool, who I'm fairly certain should take a Flare Blitz. But he's actually going to go for this Flame Charge, and I always let people set up Flame Charge on me. I never set it up myself. Everyone sets it up on me. It's like Toxic Spikes. I bet I'd, like, miss the Spikes, and it'll go into next door's garden or something. But anyway, he goes for the Wild Charge, and I was kind of hoping for the Wild Charge, because the Earthquake wouldn't give him Recoil. And lucky enough for me, that does happen. So I'm going to switch into Marowak here, just praying I'll be able to take a Blaze Boosted max attack or something like that powerful flare blitz i do but marowak you beast um like blaze boosted flare blitz coming from an m -bore is a very very powerful thing can i just say so anyway i'm gonna live on about 110 now i really want to keep my marowak for the animal molar because i have a little bit of a trick up my sleeve for taking it out or preventing it from stalling me out 24 7 and just staying in there and quite frankly being annoying so Switching into Cacturn now, thinking he might want to go for the Spore or the Giga Drain or something. He actually goes for the Stun Spore, but I'm already poisoned, so it didn't really matter. Now, I was deciding on this move. I thought, should I go for the Dark Pulse, or should I predict him to kill me with a Sludge Bomb, and then go for a Destiny Mod? I choose to go for the Dark Pulse, try and get some flinches, and he's actually going to go for the Clear Smog. Not going to take me out, so luckily enough, I did go for the Dark Dark. Ah, oh, how did he call it? Toxic Pulse. Dark Pulse. And I'm going to hope for a flinch, but it doesn't really matter, because he's going to kill me next turn anyway. So... Did a reasonable amount of damage to the Amoongus, but not as much as I'd like, but it's still enough for me to try and revenge kill him with the Vanalux. So I'm going to bring in Vanalux right now. I'm thinking, you know what, sod it. I can't be bothered to predict his Alamomola switching. I'm just going to smack it with an Ice Beam and then just hit it with a HP Ground or Signal Beam. So I'm going to switch into the Alamomola. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam and weirdly enough, and to my absolute surprise, I'm going to kill it in one hit. Not very effective. Alamomola the Beast. In a, with a critical hit, so that critical hit did help, and I was like, wow, saves Marowak having to perish song this bitch into oblivion, so he's going to bring out the Zeb Striker now, and I was like, well, I don't really care if he like goes for the flame charge or the overheat, because he'll have like low special attack now, so he's actually going to go for the wild charge, I'm going to live it like an absolute champion, fuck me, Vanalux, you're amazing, it actually has pretty good defences, it has base 85 defence and base 95 special defence, so it's actually quite... It's quite on the defensive side. I mean, it's got like really good stats. Actually, I was really surprised how uh, two ice cream cones can have got that good stats. It's bizarre. Anyway, unfortunately, the ice type typing does kind of let it down. But anyway, taking out that Venusaur Striker, he's gonna bring in the Swallow, and this is kind of game over because I have nothing faster than a Swallow, and he's already got the priority anyway. So I don't have any priority, but if I did have priority, he could just quick attack me anyway. So. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Uh, comment, like, subscribe if you all enjoyed. Sorry about the short battle, but, you know, it was a fun battle there regardless. So, Shiny Hecarim, by the way. I love Shiny Rapid Dash. And he was like, ooh, Shiny Rapid Dash. And I was like, ooh, I know, it's really nice. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Please make sure to uh, go to his channel and have a look what he's got. Because they are really cool. He does breed, which I think is amazing. Because 
in this day and age, or the emulator age, breeding is very rare. I only, I only know a couple of people who actually do it. And yeah, I mean, well, to have that patience to do it, I don't have any patience at all. I've got the time, yes, but I don't have the patience. But since like Generation 5, I used to in Generation 4, but in Generation 5, I do the Poker Sav or Poker Gen. I don't like Poker Sav at all, I prefer Poker Gen. And yeah, that's enough from me. So thank you all for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Goodbye.